How's it going guys? This is Root Junkie here. Uh, today's video we're going to be showing you guys how to install a custom ROM. We're going to be installing a Slim Kit and it's going to be on this device right here. This is the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro uh, 8.4 inch device. So let's do this. Go. This is a device. Let me just go ahead and show you just so everybody's on the same page here. We're going to go to um, about device and show you what device we're on. Here it is. It is the um, Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro and it is right there SM-T320 uh, Android 4.4.2 KitKat build number ND3. So that's basically what I'm working with. Um, to do this install you're going to have to have some prerequisites met and I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've got here so far. You're going to need to have these two things, the Google Apps for KitKat and the SlimKit ROM. Um, I'll give you guys links to all those things in the video description down below so you won't have to worry about that. You will have them. So have those on your device, know where they're at, know how to install them. Uh, well, actually, I'll show you how to install them. Besides that, you're going to have to have a custom recovery installed. Torp recovery is what I like to use. It's very, very nice. Um, and get that to get this to install. So, I'm going to go ahead and reboot into recovery. Now, if you don't actually have um, recovery already set up, installed, device hack, basically all those kind of things, root access, all that good stuff, go ahead and uh, check out my playlist on YouTube or go to rootjunkie.com and click on this device and you'll see videos on how to do all of that other stuff to get to the point where you can flash this slim kit prom. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot to recovery. I use this app called Flashify to back up some things and then also to allow me to reboot into recovery very easily. This is just an easy way to get into custom recovery. So there you go again, Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro SM-T320. Here is uh, Team Win or Twerp Recovery. So from here, the first thing you always want to do before you flash anything to your device is go ahead and do a backup. And everything looks good. I, you can pick your internal or external storage right here. I have it on external. And then you can come up here and type in what you want to call the backup. It auto-generates something. I'm going to just go ahead and go with what's auto-generated. And then you just swipe across and it's going to create your Android backup. It's going to take about 5 or 10 minutes. I've actually already done this step, so I'm just going to go back. You can see I have a, a, a restore right there that I can restore with if I want to on external and then actually internal. I also have one. So I have a couple of different backups I can use if I have an issue. All right. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start the install. So to install this, you're just going to go to wipe and swipe across. This is going to wipe data, factor reset your device. This allows you to have a good clean slate for the install and hopefully all the install will go smoothly by doing this. This is going to take just a quick second here, so let's let this finish. Alright, there we go. It is done. It took about, uh, about a minute for the factory set to go through. So we're going to hit back, we'll go back again, go to installs. Um, I've actually, you're on external storage, you can see it right there on top. I've actually put my Slim Kit in a folder called Slim Kit, so I've got everything I need right there. So here is the ROM Slim Kit. Um, it's for this Wi-Fi model, which is what I've got right here of the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro. Um, it is build 6.9 unofficial. It may be updated by the time you guys do this, but that's what I've got right here. So we're going to select that. Then we're going to go add as it, and we're going to select the KitKat Google applications. Very good. And it should say files 2 of max of 10. It's good to go. So then go ahead and swipe across, and this is going to install SlimKit. Plus, going to install... Uh, the Google applications right after that. This install should go fairly smooth and pretty quickly I think because um, both these files are not very big. They're pretty small. The zip small um, of the ROM and then also the Google applications isn't that big. So this should be a pretty fast flash. Alright, looks like it's going fairly smoothly so far. We have uh, install starting. Like I said, this should be fairly quickly done. A uh, quick note, would recommend being on the latest version of Torp recovery right there. Um, I did have an issue. I was on an older version. Had to update it before I could flash this. So there we go. Everything's done. Slim kit right there. So we're going to do a reboot system. And we'll see our first boot animation on this device. Uh, I'm a little excited to see if 
they have something cool on here. I always like seeing the boot animations. Uh, new ROMs. So, should boot up here in a second. Ooh, check it out. Slim kit. Pretty simple, nothing too fancy. A little heartbeat uh, slim kit right there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing boot up. I'm gonna go ahead and let do all my kind of initial setup stuff. I'm gonna play with it for a little bit and I'm gonna come back and show you guys what I think of this ROM and some cool features in it. So let's let that go. All right guys, here you go. Slim kit has uh, booted up. Um, very minimal. So first, uh, I guess, first impressions of it. You can see it's uh, basically got Nova, Nova Launcher on it which is the uh, launcher they're running here. And everything is very much, um, very AOSP feeling. And everything else looks very small. I don't know if you can tell, I mean, just everything on the screen is just little. So, um, you know, it's okay, I guess. Um, I'm not really super thrilled with that. I think I'm gonna have to figure out a way, and there might be in the settings here of Slim Kit to kind of blow everything up a bit. Um, it just seems like you, with the kind of real estate you have on the tablet, it's kind of a waste to have everything so little. Um, but anyway, here you go. This is your apps in your app drawer. You can see basic stuff in here. Nothing too exciting. DSP manager for audio, um, music player. There's a simple explorer for file explorer over right over there. It's dev tools, standard, uh, standard stuff in here. Widgets. Also, um, you know, pretty much AOSP kind of stuff. You have slim actions. It's a little interesting. Kind of curious what that does. Let's throw it on the screen really quick here. Oh, okay, so you can choose what you want it to do. Uh, let's just say, oh, Pi Control, that's interesting, that's cool. Nav bar, some different different things you can do with it. Theme switcher, some different cool stuff. Let's do Power Menu. So you can just add that in there, pop your Power Menu really quickly. See, it does reboot, now I'm gonna cancel that. I was wondering if they had Reboot to Recovery in there or not. Looks like they do not. Let's see what we got here. Again, so you can see it's very shrunk down. Um, standard uh, toggles there. Notification panel on this other side. Uh, settings, again, since it's so shrunk though, you do get everything in here. Um, you don't have to scroll at all in your menus, uh, which is interesting. You do have some interface stuff, which is pretty cool. So you have your icons and status bars and stuff like that. Clock, brightness control, you can change. Battery icons. Let's see what kind of icons those do. Percentage, yeah, I always like percentage. So you can change those things. Let's see what else we have in here. Navigation, hardware buttons, some different customization for those. Slim Pie, shake events. Navigation bar, enable navigation bar. So there you go, now you have a navigation bar down there if you want to do that. And you can come into buttons and you can rearrange these around. Let's actually change them over. There, now they match the other ones. And you can edit and, and do all that kind of fun stuff on those as well. So now you have on-screen buttons. Um, there, here you can change your UI to like the dark UI right there or kind of the backlit UI. And then a slim center, so you can do check out for ROMs, different stuff here. Got OTA updates, cannot read slim OTA properties, so that's interesting. Maybe for this dice device, since it's not officially supported, it's not actually going to have OTA updates. But and then, so this is pretty sweet right here. You can actually come in here and delete system applications. So if you know there's an app that you don't like or you don't need the APK in here, you just want to slim down your device even more than it already is you know, maybe like printer spool, you can select it and then go ahead and delete it and it deletes the system application. So that's really nice. It's a nice little feature to have in here for sure, for sure. Um, there you go guys, that's gonna be pretty much slim kit. It, basically you have an AOSP ROM here on your Samsung and Galaxy Tab Pro. That's basically what it is. There is some modifications and stuff you can do in it. There's some cool tweaking you can do, which is nice. Also, if you have Nova Launcher Pro, you can come in here to um, look and feel and you can change your icon size if you have the pro version and kind of blow things up a little bit which would make to me this ROM a lot lot better um, like I said the real estate you have is just why I have it so small but there you go that's gonna be it guys hope you guys like this cool video here on the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro stay tuned for more on this devices and many many others along with all the cool Android Wear stuff coming out very soon I'll be covering lots of that 
And we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie, out. Yeah.